week was humbling for a lot of local drivers, but did your parents handle ice any better than you did? We're going back into the archives to 1984 to find out, and we get some old school driving techniques. It's probably no news to anyone that we Chattanoogans are notoriously bad at driving on snow or ice. After all, why should we be good at something we rarely practice? But still, there are ways to prepare for adverse driving conditions. And in the case of ice, you four-wheel drive owners seem to be out of luck just like the rest of us. They're actually worse than a regular automobile would be because usually they have larger tires and so forth, and it tends to slide around a lot worse than a regular automobile like that would. So pay attention, everyone, to these words of wisdom. First thing to do is to make sure you have a full tank of gasoline. That way, if you have a rear-wheel drive car, you'll have more weight in the back. That won't, ha won't, won't help you with a front-wheel drive car, but uh, if you do get caught in traffic, uh, you'll have enough gas to wait the, wait the storm out or wait the traffic jam out. Or well, if possible, stay home. But if you can't, you have to go somewhere. Maybe deflate your tires. Add some weight to the truck and just be real careful. Right, so. And the voice of Chattanooga, Luther Massingale, suggests you carry these items along as well. Kitty litter for extra traction, a shovel for the obvious purpose of digging yourself out, and warmer clothing in case you do find yourself out in the cold. Catherine Kate, TV12.